if this is what I think it is. Oh yeah. Hey, hello everyone. Um, yeah, I've been expecting this package. Actually, I have several things ordered I'm expecting. Uh, before I show you what this is, I'm gonna go change clothes, get out of this white shirt because those of you that know me, it's not gonna stay white long. So stay tuned, I'll be right back and we will take a look at this. Okay, welcome back. All right, I've got it. I've got the product unboxed and unpacked. What, uh, what I have here is uh, it's from Viking Bags. It's their extra large sissy bar bag. Um, so far, I like what I see. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna kind of take you through it and show you all the different compartments and uh, uh, see what you think about it. And be sure to let me know in the comments below whether you like the bag or not. Um, I had I had been looking at several bags. Uh, there's, a, there's another bag that I, I really liked. This bag here holds about, it has about 3,500 uh, cubic inches of storage. And I looked at a couple of more uh, around this size. I think one of them was 3,700, 3,750. Um, but I ended up deciding on trying this one first. It was a good, you know, anywhere from one to two hundred uh, dollars cheaper than the others. Uh, so from, from from the price point, uh, I'm gonna give this one a try. Well, as you can see, it's a nice looking bag visually, and also visually, it it actually looks looks a little larger and than I thought it would be. Now it's got the three Velcro straps on the back for attaching it to your sissy bar, and then it has the two the two the two uh, straps and buckles to secure it to the uh, luggage rack. Side view. Now let's take a look at the inside. This front pouch, it's not real large, but it's, you know, it's typical. Enough room for some pens and pencils. Has a mesh bag on each side, little zipper pocket at the top. Clip for your keys. flap into the top compartment. Let me go around here to the other side. Might be a little, little better. Plenty of room for my half helmet and a few other items as well. And I'll show you later. Shoulder strap, carry strap, more straps, clips, more clips, uh, the waterproof rain cover, it's probably f oh, five inches at the back and about four inches at the front, it tapers off the slopes from back to front, has a uh, Little glasses pouch on both sides. One, one for your sunglasses, and I guess this other one I can put my Walmart readers in.
the side pouch. Duplicate pouch on the other side. That'd be good for, for carrying snacks, beef jerky and such. That's the main compartment. You know, this is where I'll put my toiletries, underwear, a couple pairs of pants, a few t-shirts. Maybe top it off with my riding or my waterproof boots on top. Little pouch for your notebook, laptop, computer, iPad, a couple of mesh pockets on each side. Okay, let's try it out. I've got my, my badass half helmet here. As you can see, it easily fits in and there's, there's room to spare for other items. Plenty of room for a, your helmet, full helmet, modular, plenty of room, plus, you know, it leaves, leaves a fair amount of room for, for other items as well. Still room for your notebook. Now here I have a couple of pairs of pants, some shorts, underwear, a couple extra t-shirts. Okay. okay, well there you have it. Uh, once again, this is the Viking Extra Large sissy bar bag 3500 cubic inches um, as far as this uh, preliminary review goes i'm gonna give it a thumbs up i am planning a camping trip in approximately two weeks uh, where i will actually put this to to use and then i'll uh, have a follow-up video and kind of let you know how that went anyway if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments on the Viking bag, positive or negative, be sure and leave them in the comments below. If you don't feel like typing in a comment, leave it, leave it an emoji or, or the thumbs up there as well too. But please, uh, uh, if you would do those things and also smash the bell. That'll act as a reminder whenever our video comes out when we put this to use on our camping trip. Uh, we'll also be traveling down Highway 281 here in Texas, which is a beautiful ride through hill country. Until next time, y'all have a great day.